ea este să încerci până reușești. Hai să vedem. A prins Bravo! Dai, hai să vedem cum dai coș. Bravo! La decizie. Dai! Ne-am cunoscut acum 11 ani, pe vremea când era obsession nu, bineînțeles. Așa cum s-au cunoscut mulți dintre prietenii noștri în Obsession, ne-am cunoscut. Nu știam cine este. Adică știam că este jucător de basket, dar nu știam că în perioada aceea era capitanul echipei de basket de la Cluj. Chiar era foarte cunoscut și este în continuare și mai cunoscut. Și ne-am împrietenit într-o seară în Obsession, am ieșit după aceea la o cafea, ne-am tot întâlnit și așa am ajuns să fim împreună 11 ani, să avem și o fetiță minunată. Așa ne-am cunoscut. Sunt puțini oameni care sunt atât de sinceri ca și el. Sufletul bun pe care îl are, zâmbetul, are un zâmbet <laughs> inconfundabil. Astea au fost calitățile care mi-au plăcut foarte mult la el. Primul meci în 2009, primul an cu Marcel Center ca și antrenor, am intrat în saldă, mi-am găsit primul loc liber. M-am pus și apare la un moment dat fratele lui Paul Chetreanu și mama lui. Și se uită la mine și mă întreabă, dar tu de acu ești? <laughs> și am stat o secundă să mă gândesc și zic, păi al lui Silvășan? <laughs> A, ah, ok, bine, poți să stai aici, ăsta este locul în care stăm noi, familiile, prietenele, soțiile, ăsta este locul nostru. Așa a fost primul meci. Nu mai mi-aduc aminte exact cu cine au jucat, dar uh, m-a prins meciul. Acolo a fost, am prins gustul meciurilor de basket și e altceva. El, ca și sportiv de performanță, avea un program strict. El, fiind genul de om foarte muncitor și strict cu programul lui, aveam un program stabilit dinainte. Deci ne vedeam în zilele în care avea antrenamente, ne vedeam. Cu o zi înainte de meci nu ne vedeam și ne mai vedeam după meci. Cam așa era programul nostru. Și era minunat, mergeai pe stradă, vedeai cum îl salută toată lumea, servu Silvă, ce fa Silvă, succes la meci, bravo! Era altceva, știi, era o vedetă în fond și la urma urmei, pe plan local putem să zicem acest lucru. Și sunt foarte mândră de el, de ce a reușit să facă. În momentul în care a apărut Sofi, a fost chiar momentul în care a fost pus ca și antrenor principal la echipă. A fost un an mai greu pentru mine, dar uh, a fost frumos. Bine, primul lucru mi-a spus Mihai, uh, uite, m-au propus ca și antrenor principal la echipă, tu ce zici? Și am zis, te duci. E o șansă unică în viață, nu, nu știi când mai apare, nu poți să o refuzi. Tu te duci și te ocupi de treaba ta, iar eu mă ocup de fetiță, de casă, de... Nu, trebuie să-ți faci aceste griji. A fost un an greu. Pentru că după ce am născut-o pe Sofi, la o lună de zile au plecat în cantonament. Cam o săptămână sau două săptămâni. Eu fiind acasă cu ea mică, fără el, era un pic mai greu să zic. Dar a fost frumos și este frumos în continuare. E mai greu cu el ca și antrenor, e mai greu decât cu el ca și jucător. Deși poate unii cred, da, păi, și așa nu face nimic. Lucrează mai mult. Victoriile sunt cele mai frumoase. Ne bucurăm, răsuptăm ușurați, înfrângerile. Sunt cam greu de dus, dar uh, înfrângerile sunt lecții în fond și la urma urmei. După o înfrângere, eh, stăm, plângem, jelim, le ducem pe toate, după care hai să începem să vedem unde am greșit. Și acolo începe munca lui, în care se închide în cameră și se uită la metru și vede și se enervează iar. <laughs> Sunt mai frumoase victorile, tot timpul. <laughs> Noi stăm în liniște, în colțul nostru, tot în colțul nostru stăm. Mai auzi așa comentarii, <laughs> mai dă-ți o demisie, <laughs> dar... Probabil că și aceste lucruri adresate către el de către suporteri, pentru el sunt tot încurajări. 
pentru că îl fac să vrea să fie mai bun în ceea ce face. Basketul e tot timpul. La orice întâlniri cu prietenii, la orice... Da. La toate întâlnirile cu prietenii pe care le avem, nu există să nu se discute de basket. Că e vacanță, că e plin sezon competițional, nu contează să discute de basket tot timpul. Noi suntem o familie liniștită, așa ne percepem noi, chiar suntem liniștiți, suntem cu picioarele pe pământ și ne place să ieșim, să vedem oameni, să vizităm, că de asta ne este dor să mergem să vizităm un oraș în afara țării. Suntem veseli, ne plac oamenii, ne plac prietenii, să stăm cât mai mult cu ei. Nu ne place singurătatea asta, așa, închiși în case. A fost, pentru noi a fost cam greu să o ducem perioada asta. Se zice că prietenii sunt familia pe care ți-o alegi. E, așa e și la noi. La noi e o familie mare, foarte mare. Și nu numai din basket, și din alte sporturi avem prieteni, dar suntem toți o familie, suntem uniți, pentru că avem mulți prieteni cu care suntem foarte uniți și care fac parte din noi, să zic. Însă a noștri suntem mai lor și e minunat când reușești să te vezi cu toți. I feel really nice. The people are amazing. Uh, I met really nice people in my job environment. Um, I'm in love with my job and with my colleagues. Uh, it's my second year that I'm working and I'm living here with Tony. I don't know what else do you need in your life to be, to be so happy, you know. Uh, I have everything and, and it's, it's very nice. And, uh, Cluj is an amazing city. We have everything we need. Sedet, labas, balsa, 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 gulet, gulet. I think you're really nice. We actually met on Facebook, like a lot of nowadays couples. Um, we started talking. It was like. Uh, five, five and a half years ago and uh, we knew each other like that from basketball a little bit because I was a basketball player but I was mm, younger than him from a younger generation and um, we met we start talking and uh, that uh, year I was playing in Italy and he was playing in Lithuania in Kaunas in uh, Jalgiris team And we started talking, then we met, and uh, then we never separate again. Uh, I mean, uh, we were on a long distance relationship for a long time, uh, almost four years uh, of long distance relationship, but we survived it. It was really hard, uh, but it was worth it. It was actually on the day we left Cluj. Uh, it was very funny. It, it was very simple engagement, I can say, but it means the world to me because um, he uh, we had to depart uh, with all the other teammates because we were going to Istanbul and then uh, everyone were going to their home and uh, at 7 p.m. Um, the bus should come and pick us up everyone from from the building and at 6 50, it was something like that, 10 minutes to 7. Um, we were already ready with the suitcases packed and everything. We were just sitting and waiting the 7. And um, I was like, uh, okay, Donnie, let's go. Maybe they come earlier, so, so we have to go. And uh, I stand up from the, from the couch. And he was like, no, 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 wait, wait, stand up. And I was, what, you're going to propose? <laughs> and, he, and he told yes. <laughs> And he told, yes, I will. 
and um, it was very funny because I know his knees hurt a lot and he cannot stay in that position so he put the shoe under his knee and he went on his knee and uh, he told me really beautiful words he, tell, he told me uh, thank you for everything you did to me. Thank you uh, that for me you left Lithuania, you left your job and you sacrificed yourself and uh, for our happiness to be together. After some games he comes home full of emotions and he cannot even sleep. He is uh, staying with his phone. I'm, I'm trying to sleep but I cannot as well because um, maybe after a really good game, an important game, he's so excited that he cannot even sleep and uh, he's thinking about moments, what, we, what he did good, what he did maybe wrong on the court, and he thinks a lot. He really, um, I see that, I see even sometimes that I don't have maybe to talk to him, uh, because he just wants to stay and think for a while about the game. And after some negative games, uh, he is usually the person who needs support, and to hear some good words, motivational words, and uh, I'm trying to give him that and um, to support him as much as possible, to tell him that uh, everything will be all right. The most important thing is um, always to respect each other and to support each other. Uh, like Donnie is supporting me a lot in my job, I'm supporting him like maximum in his job. Uh, and. Uh, I always try to, when I, when I have a free moment, I try to cook him the best food I can. Actually, my hobby is cooking. And um, uh, I want to make him rest all the time. I'm uh, taking care of him to be in his best shape. I'm trying to help him as much as possible. Just like he helps me in my, in my job. When I have maybe a rough day in the office, he always supports me and uh, helps me to survive those moments and he is very happy when when I'm happy and something good happens in, in the job so that is really amazing to support each other uh, to to help each other in in, in uh, happy moments and in sad moments this uh, summer we should marry if everything is okay and the virus situation of course will let us because we organized already everything and uh, we have the date, we have everything, so hopefully we can marry and uh, maybe in some years, who knows? <laughs> of course we are thinking about kids, but uh, not now, in the future. Uh, first we want to marry. All right, let's see. Welcome to the Richards. <laughs> I also played basketball in college, and we were in the same conference, and um, we normally, whenever you're in the same conference, you well in our conference, you we would go men, men's team here, women's team there. Um, it never was the same two teams in the same place. But uh, this particular year, it was 2011, I guess, and um, they were like, okay, we're gonna start trying this out in this conference. We were a smaller, a smaller conference, and they were uh, gonna try the one double header for the school, each schools or whatever. And ours happened to be his uh, college, McNeese University. And so um, they came and we played first and, um, and they played after us. And he joked that he, he didn't notice me, but um, he noticed me. <laughs> no, but um, so they, uh, after our game, me and my girls, my teammates, we sat courtside and we watched his, uh, his game. And we were just teasing them, you know, we want our team to win. So we're taunting them and, and making fun of them. And we're looking at the, the sheet of the names and we're like, Patrick Richard, like he has two first names. This is, what is wrong with him? And so and he's all, he was also one of the better players. So we, we wanted to, um, you know, try to get him off his game. So we were like taunting him and saying stuff to him and he was ignoring us. And then 
um, we were someone was shooting a free throw and he was behind and we were t we were saying little things to him and he he uh, looked over there and just looked straight at me and like gave me this little look like he thought he was so cool I guess but <laughs> so everyone was like oh what is this what is this so um after the game my one of my closest friends and actually one of his co closest friends um they were like oh wait 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 after or whatever so we were, I waited after and um we talked and it just felt so easy going it was really natural and it wasn't it didn't feel forced and so they had to leave and they were going back to Lake Charles, Louisiana, uh, which was seven hours from where I, where we were in college at, which is Conway, Arkansas. And so as soon as he got on the bus, he called me and he goes, um, you're so beautiful. And then <laughs> from that point, we talked literally the entire seven hours. He went back to his where his school was. And and like I said, that was 2011. So since then, we just went on and I um Still had a, he was a year older than me, so I had a bit of college, a, another year of college to finish as he uh, started his journey with playing basketball over, overseas. But um, we ended up getting pregnant with Ava and expecting her, and we got married as well. And then we had our, our second born, Amia, in Israel in 2016, and now we're expecting a little boy, our first boy, so we're super excited. and. Just very thankful. It's been a very fun, fun journey that he's taken us on. <laughs> well, right now it's girls, all girls and then Pat. So it's princesses, dolls, Barbies, everything, but loud, fun. Um, just always wanting to do something there. They're very, we're busy, busy. They want to go play. We want to, you know, adventurous, adaptable. We all, we're always on the go. Obviously we move every single year. So we are just your, I guess we're kind of like expats when you, when you think about it. We just, we're travelers and we just, home is where we are. You know, we have family back home, but for us, like for me and the girls, home is wherever Patrick is. So that's just, that's how we roll. <laughs> what I would say is support and understanding. Like he, understanding his schedule, um, he's busy, you know, understanding that, yes, I'm going through things as well with, you know, being a mom and at home, I'm homeschooling Ava, but he's going through a lot too. He's practicing two times a day. He's, his body, you know, he's putting his body through this and, um, you know, and I have to, and, and supporting him in every, in, in every way. That's just, that's even just moving with him, you know, um, freely just going, but he's, I mean, I always I keep saying he's the best, but he is. He just, everywhere he goes, he, he thinks about his family first. He's not going to go somewhere where we're not comfortable. So that helps everything tremendously. But, um, yeah, I think that for sure, um, at the end of the day, just when he comes home, understanding that he's tired, you know, <laughs> understanding he's hungry, um, even though he's the best cook in the house. <laughs> but... Um, you know, that's really all he asks for. He doesn't ask for much at all. So and when he comes home and the girls are like screaming and running for him, I think that everything just kind of just goes out of his head. <laughs> like I pretty much just said togetherness, being together. Some people, some families can do it and be just totally fine and work well. But, you know, for us, we just like to stay together. We involve each other, include each other. Patrick, he's so busy, but he, is in everything and we just love, you know, we show each other love, attention, and that's really all. I mean, that's all. Like when the girls, at the end of the day, they um, they don't really care about toys or whatever. They care about the time we spent with them and the, the, the meaningful moments that we have together. <laughs>